Disney vlog. Um, thanks for everyone that's been watching along with us so far. Um, we're really enjoying doing it. Um, so this is obviously a pre-recorded vlog. I do apologise. Some days I go to work. Yeah, that does happen. I go to work for 14 hours. No one in this family is going to take control and do a vlogmas. So I've had to do some pre-recorded stuff. But it's still going to be fun and still going to be interesting. So today we're going to do some homemade presents or some presents for me. I don't know. Either way. Um, I think it is going to be just a personal present for me more than anything. But you can give them as gifts, which is why we're doing it today. So what I want to do is I want to make some gin. Not properly make some gin. I want to make some flavoured gin. So I want to make some raspberry flavoured gin. Gins are so, so popular at the minute. They're, yeah, they really look, I love them. They go well with tonics, lemonades, just on their own, especially the flavoured gins. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So there are lots of recipes out there for different types of gin um, and different flavours. Um, there's different quantities and mixes. So I've just found one that was really simple. So basically all you need is some caster sugar, um, some raspberries and the all important gin. So making it is uh, really, really simple and straightforward. The further advanced you make this for Christmas, the, the better. I have seen some recipes that say if you do it two weeks in advance, then it's perfect time. So yeah, it, it's a, a reasonable amount of time. So what you need is also a jar to um, store it in and while it's preserving. So this is um, a sterile jar, a clean and sterile jar. So um, cleaned it using soap and water and sterilized it using some boiling water. Um, and yeah, dead simple. So let's get cracking. I can't lie. Hey, there's nothing fancy going on here. You put your sugar in, you put your raspberries in, you put your gin in. So let's give it a go. So this is a hundred. Oh no! Sorry, a little bit of spillage. Whoops. So there's a hundred grams of caster sugar going in there, and then it, the recipe asked for about two hundred grams of raspberries. So the p actual punnet was two hundred and twenty-five. Um, just obviously washed and then. Oh my god, I'm dropping them. And then take out any bad ones. So yeah, it doesn't matter if there's a few extra. You can tell I'm not a TV chef, can't you? I'll have to clean this up in a bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's simple. I really hope it's going to fit. I think maybe I should have trialled this first. Or maybe not. So there we go. There's my raspberries. Time for the gin. Now I hope this fits. So I've got a um, 70 CL gin. So you need a London dry gin, not a gin that's had anything added to it. Um, obviously no other flavors. Um, the more expensive, the better it says, but some recipes say it doesn't have to be expensive. So this is one I got from Aldi. Yeah, just a London dry gin. So we've got 70 CLs of gin. Oh, that smells good. And so we just pour it in over the raspberries and the sugar. Now I'm hoping to gosh this fits. And it fits. Just about it fits. That's the half. That's just gonna be amazing. So literally all you do is pop it in and this is the bit I'm scared about the most and then shake it about. So shake, ah, uh, because when does it seal? Oh wow, look at that. How amazing is all that sugar and raspberry and gin look? Oh wow, so give it a nice good shake. Some of your sugar will dissolve and then some of it won't. So I think you just need to then leave it. Leave it in a cool, dark place and let the gin just become amazing, full of amazing flavors. So yeah, 
That's all. That's it. It's dead simple and straightforward. Obviously, if you're giving it for a Christmas present, you can't give it in something like this. Yeah, that's not going to look great. So I would suggest going out and buying a bottle. I think I overestimated when I bought this bottle of how much gin I'm going to create. Um, I think it'll do for me just because I'm not giving it, probably not going to be giving it as a gift for this first time round. I want to try it first. But so a lovely bottle like this, or get some smaller bottles and then just decorate it. Um, nice and straightforward. I would decorate it with some Christmas twine or some Christmas bows. I'd, I'm really quite crafty when it comes to stuff like this. Um, I do often give, um, if we've got a secret Santa at work, I quite often make things myself um, so they can have it as um, a gift. It often works out a lot better and cheaper in price. So yeah, have it with some nice twine. What I would do is probably buy something like this. Um, this was 69p. 69p from the range. I would probably take maybe take out bits of it Put the berries on here and tie it up just to make it look really festive with a nice label. I'd then even maybe buy, uh, buy it with a bottle, not a bottle, a glass, a gin glass uh, to give to the person as well. Obviously this is too big for this but you get the idea with a nice label and a nice gin glass it makes a perfect present. So yeah, that simple and that straightforward. I'd love this as a present. Comment below, have you ever done anything like this? Have you got any flavours of gin that you recommend? As this is something really straightforward and I can't wait to try this out. So I'll probably be trying it out on Boxing Day. We've got family coming around on Boxing Day. Um, you know who you are if you're watching. Um, and so follow, follow me on my Insta account um, to see if it works and to see it how well it comes out and how well it tastes. I think before you use it obviously before you drink it it all needs to go past through a sieve to make sure that you've got all those lovely flavors out and there's no bits in it and then just bottle it obviously this will need sterilizing as well which is what we'll do so i'm excited about using it thanks for watching guys like i said it was a really super quick vlogmas i'm obviously at work for 14 hours yeah yeah i leave at half six i get home at half ten there's not much to vlog on those days, so this is why I've done this. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, happy Vlogmas, guys. Bye!